I am Hannah German from the Lutstein Virtual Jewish Academy. Um, and we're an online school that provides Jewish studies courses for grades 8 to 12 um, to allow schools to differentiate their instruction. Um, and for schools that don't have access to um, the, the teachers that they need to teach their courses, this is also a wonderful way for them to get quality online courses for their students. And I think our ultimate vision in creating this school is to help schools reimagine their schools for the 21st century, to think about how they can restructure their classes and even the school, um, maybe group students according to ability as opposed to grades. Um, and perhaps even grow their enrollment by being able to differentiate from more students um, in, in one shot, really. Great. How do you see this as responding to some of the trends in 21st century learning or things that you hear at this conference? Well, so um, I think that, first of all, the platform, the fact that it's online is already 21st century. Um, and we also work within our courses, we work to develop 21st century skills with the students. Um, we take them, in our courses we have two um, staff members. We have a teacher and we have somebody called a course advisor who is um, almost like a guidance counselor slash student services person um, and who identifies students that need the extra hand help to develop those skills. So we'll work on you know, time management skills and um, those sorts of things. Um, in addition, the way that our courses are, de are developed, we have a lot of collaboration um, and the schools are, students are collaborating with students in different schools. They're doing you know, virtual chavruta and um, projects together. So they're also building also those um, communication and collaboration skills. Um, and I think this whole conference is about 21st century learning. Um, so this is a good Okay. What kinds of questions do you get from uh, schools interested in this? I think that all the schools come to us. The, 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 question, the first question they ask us is about the quality. They want to see that this is um, as good or better than the courses they offer in their schools. They're not really willing to sacrifice that. And that's good. And that's excellent, in fact. And we're not looking to do that. Um, they're interested to see that it's really serious learning, that it's not um, an easy A, that the kids are engaging in text, and engaging with those, you know, those big Jewish ideas, um, and that they're, you know, rigorous courses that meet their standards. Um, we also get, you know, those questions about um, the logistics, how it works, because it's, it's new and people are not so familiar with the whole synchronous or asynchronous and how it works in terms of flexibility and the scheduling. Um, and they have questions, you know, how how other schools have have felt. You know, we've piloted this program for the past basically two years. Um, we've worked with approximately 20 schools, um, a little bit more than 160 students, and we've had um, outside evaluators evaluate the courses, both from instructional design and, and online course design perspective, and also from a Jewish content um, perspective. Um, and we've gotten high marks, um, but I think actually the most important thing for us is, is what the students in the schools feel, and they've been overwhelmingly positive. So, yeah, that's, that's Great. So what's the next step for you in developing this further? What, what do you do about in the future? Um, so we have a five-year plan that will obviously have to be adapted as we go along. We have to be flexible um, and, re and sort of respond to the realities and, and the challenges that come up. Um, but we're developing approximately 40 courses over the next four years. Um, and we're looking to work with schools who want to be the future, who not only want to, um, to, to think about how their graduates are going to be um, working in the 21st century, I mean that, you know, being students and, and learning the skills they need to, to, to um, participate in the 21st century, but also to make sure that their schools are sound um, financially um, and can actually be, sort of get that financial stability so they can grow um, and also respond to 21st century needs. Great. One more question. What, what kinds of courses, I guess, are most popular for um, So schools? at this point, we've developed three courses only. So I can't okay. say that. Um, we have two Tanakh courses and one Jewish history course. Um, I suspect the Tanakh will be the most popular because it's taught in all the schools. Um, but there's a real there's a real need for a serious Jewish history curriculum. Most schools do not do that for various reasons. Um, and then there's obviously the Talmud Rabbinics. Um, that's another. The three areas we're working with are Tanakh, Jewish history, and uh, Talmud slash Rabbinics. And I think that that um, will also serve the need.
as well. Great. Have you heard other ideas that, that people have in terms of other topics specifically they'd, they'd want covered? Um, yeah, some schools, some people, some educators have asked us actually if we'll do electives, if we'll do Jewish philosophy and Jewish ethics. And I think those are things that we would consider um, over time. I think we'll start with the core um, and grow and see, you know, we want to we want to work with the schools, we're interested in getting feedback from the schools, we want to know what they need so we can meet their needs. We're not interested in creating anything in a vacuum, so if the schools are interested in this sort of um, instruction, then they should be in touch and we can work together to make sure that we can do that. Great, thank you so much.